How you doing guys? EK Trader here. It's uh 12:19 p.m. on June 29th, 09. Uh basically what I have here is uh Russell 2000 index mini size futures on the 512 tick chart and what I've identified is a squeeze play that appears to be just about to pop off and um hopefully I can catch a nice run from it it looks like it's about to uh, pop out right now so I wanted you guys to take a look and um, bear witness to this and uh, you know go along for the ride on this particular play with me and as you can see my trade just caught for the squeeze the squeeze just popped and hopefully uh, let's see where this thing takes me I'd like to at least be able to catch a ride to the 511 level. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit past this level, but um, uh, just so you know what the squeeze play is, um, the squeeze play is when the Bollinger bands, which is these lines here begin to trade inside the Keltner channel which is these two lines here um, basically what it represents is a time of quietness and consolidation and the methodology behind it is once um, whichever direction the market pops whether it's up or down when the Bollinger Bands pop outside the Keltner channel you take a trade based on where the momentum indicator is located in this case the momentum indicator is facing up so I have the squeeze uh, to going along as you can see here also there's a little bit of rising volume here on the upside so that gives me a little more confidence also uh, in the squeeze so all in all it's it's a it's a quality play everything is set up the right way so basically I just have to sit back and and uh, you know hopefully it plays out I want to go ahead and pause the video and I'll keep you guys posted of the results thanks how you doing guys EK trader here again um, letting you guys see this squeeze play um, I'm gonna show you what's probably gonna happen this is the high of the day so far there's gonna be a lot of short sitting here now the pros know that there's a lot of short sitting here there's gonna be guys looking to take the reversal right here because they're not recognizing the squeeze so they're automatically thinking well oh, that's the resistance level so let me reverse but what's gonna happen is this is probably gonna shoot past this level and their stop losses are going to help fuel the rally forward okay and that my friend is how the squeeze works or well, one of the ways of how the squeeze works so uh, once again I'm just gonna sit back and watch this play develop and hopefully it's fruitful how you doing guys EK trader back again um, another successful squeeze play uh, I love these particular plays because um, you know they don't always set up but when they do set up they're just about as golden as the gap fade I mean it, you know it's usually money to be made with this particular play um, it basically went down just like I said um, you know it, it broke the resistance level you know there's a lot of people that have clean charts uh, they're basically just looking to play the reversal you know we got all the price action guys I mean I'm one of them but you know I just I, I you I do use indicators from time to time but I know how the price action guys think and so do the professionals um, they know that there's a lot of orders sitting right there waiting to reverse and because they're not using these particular indicators they're not recognizing the squeeze so they're just assuming it's going to be another reversal now 
uh, in a lot of cases, uh, if you're good at analyzing volume like Brendan and Shoot, uh, that'll give it away. So, you know, you don't really need to see anything. If you see the volume uh, spiking up the way it does, uh, they know not to take a reversal like that. They'll, they'll go with the trend instead of trying to reverse it. But a lot of guys who don't analyze volume correctly, uh, they just they won't see it correctly. And they'll immediately try to go short at the resistance level thinking it's going to reverse and the stop losses their tight stop losses um, above the resistance level fuel the rally and they help make the squeeze play successful uh, anyway I'm just gonna keep the video rolling and you guys can just come along for the ride with me while I um, attempt to manage this trade if I was trading two contracts right here, this would be the area where I'd be looking to scale out, maybe take one or two things off the table. But since I'm only trading one contract, you know, I really don't have that luxury. I just have to, it's either all or none.